Imagine trying to write out a mathematical equation in words. For lower level computation problems, this would be difficult enough. So much more with the longer equations required in your design subjects later on. Using mathematical symbols consumes less time and space. Furthermore, math symbols are international, allowing individuals to share information through symbolism that they could not share in words. This video introduces inequalities. You are watching Mathematics of Engineering. There are different symbols for inequalities. The signs for greater than and less than were introduced in 1631 in a book which was the work of British mathematician Thomas Harriot and was published 10 years after his death in 1621. The symbols actually were invented by Harriot and he initially used triangular symbols which the editor altered to resemble the modern less and greater than symbols. Interestingly, Harriot also used parallel lines to denote equality. However, Harriot's equal sign was vertical rather than horizontal. The symbols for less or greater than or equal to were first used in 1734 by French mathematician Pierre Boger. Jan Wallis, a British logician and mathematician, used similar symbols in 1670. Wallis used the greater than or less than symbols with a single horizontal line above them. The modern sign for not equal to is an equal sign with a slash through it. This symbol is attributed to Leonard Euler, a Swiss mathematician who lived from 1707 to 1783. Inequalities can be manipulated like equations and follow very similar rules, but there is one important exception. If you add the same number to both sides of an inequality, the inequality remains true. If you subtract the same number from both sides of the inequality, the inequality remains true again. If you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by the same positive number, the inequality remains true. Using the previous example, it would be noted that the outcome of multiplying or dividing a positive number will still make the equation true. But, if you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the inequality is no longer true. In fact, the inequality becomes reversed. This is quite easy to see from the example. By multiplying or dividing a negative number, we reverse the values whereby the inequality is also required to be interchanged to be true. This leads to difficulties when dealing with variables because a variable can either be positive or negative. Using the equal sign can give us an exact value for the answer, but inequalities refer to a range. Because inequalities refer to a range of numbers, we use interval notation to represent subsets of real numbers. The first type is close interval, which is a notation that includes its endpoints. For the example given, where x is greater than or equal to negative 3, but less than or equal to 1. The graphical representation can be taken from negative 3 to positive 1. Since the inequality sign is less than or equal to, a field point is used to denote that the number is included in the range. The interval notation is then taken as negative 3 and positive 1 and close in brackets, which mean that elements are included. An open interval is a notation which does not include its endpoints. In the case where the value of x is under the range, x is greater than negative 3 but less than 1. The graphical representation will start from negative 3 to positive 1 and close in a hollow point, which means that the number is not included in the set. 
the interval notation is given as negative 3 and positive 1 and close in parentheses, which would denote the exclusion of those elements written. There are different combinations of writing interval notation according to the range presented by the problems. In case we work with the range where the value of x would be greater than or equal to negative 3 but less than 1, the lower limit works with less than or equal to denoting a bracket while its upper limit uses only less than which requires a parenthesis. Graphically, the field point is used in negative 3 and the hollow point in positive 1. In contrast, if the lower limit includes the less than sign, the interval notation will start with a parenthesis, then upper limit involves less than or equal to, which requires a bracket. The graphical representation will use a hollow point for negative 3 and field point for positive 1. In case positive infinity is involved, the inequality signs would still be observed for the interval notation as they decide the usage of a bracket or a parenthesis. Graphically, the infinity sign would be denoted by an arrow. Likewise with the negative infinity, the graphical representation will only direct the arrow to the opposite direction from the positive values. However, the interval notation will still consider the inequality signs, using brackets for those with equal to notations and parentheses for those without. In the case of R, or the set of all real numbers, the interval notation will include the positive and negative infinity symbols and close in parentheses, and arrows on both ends will be its graphical representation. Inequalities often appear in conjunction with the modulus or absolute value symbol. Recall that the modulus of a number is simply its magnitude or absolute value regardless of its sign. So the absolute value of positive 3 is 3, and similarly the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. With inequality, the absolute value will use the same concept in the range of numbers. In case the absolute value of x is less than 3, what is the range of numbers satisfying x? One value is negative 2 and its absolute value satisfies the inequality. And also, positive 2 does the same. Therefore, the interval notation will be enclosed in parentheses and the elements would be negative 3 and positive 3. In order for you to understand better, let us check the example. The absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 2. With the inequality sign, our values can be the positives, which starts with 2, and the range continues to 3, 4, and so on. The negative values are also to be considered. In equation form, we can write it as x is greater than or equal to 2, and x is less than or equal to negative 2. Take note that the inequality symbol will be reversed as we are denoting negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on, all of which are smaller than negative 2 algebraically. And graphically, you can now show the range using field points including negative 2 and positive 2. Let's try example 2. The absolute value of x less 4 is less than 3. From the equation, the absolute value of x less 4 can be arranged from the values close to negative 3 and those close to positive 3. The set can then be written as x less 4 is greater than negative 3 but less than 3, which is also called double inequality. From the left side, we would have x less 4 is greater than negative 3 and the right side, x less 4 is less than 3. Adding positive 4 on both sides, we would determine the range for x as less than 1 and less than 7. Thus, in interval notation, and close in parentheses are 1 and 7. And again, graphically, we start from 1 to 7 and closing them in hollow points. Moving on to a more complicated inequality equation. The absolute value of 5x minus 8 is less than or equal to 12, the range of values of which start from negative 12 
to positive 12. The standard form can be shown as 5x minus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 12, but less than or equal to 12, which is again a double inequality. By taking the left side, that would be negative 12 is less than or equal to 5x minus 8, and the right side, 5x minus 8 is less than or equal to 12, and solving for the range of x, we can have the lower limit as negative 4 fifth and the upper limit taken as 4. Thus, the interval notation will be using brackets, and the graphical representation is shown.